Guys, this week is very exciting when it comes to Blender add-ons and updates. Because just in the last couple of days, a new wave of Blender add-ons is here with tools for creating different effects like explosions, fires, dealing with boring UVs, creating cool looking renders, amazing shading effects and so much more. So stick to the end because it's gonna be very exciting. Also by the way, the Blender Summer Sale is almost here because we are just a few hours away. Maybe it is already here by the time you see this video. So to make sure you can take advantage of this opportunity, I have prepared a list of the top 100 Blender add-ons in the description of this video, so you don't have to do the work yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you're trying to spice up your renders with some hyper-realistic view effects, then LazyVFX got you covered. Whether it is explosions, smoke, or fire, the add-on has them all packed in its asset library. There's actually a trend going on lately of using VDB libraries with add-ons like TrueVDB and this one here, LazyVFX, as an example. And I think it is making a big difference since it can save us a lot of time and effort. So this add-on right here has 48 static explosions, 29 static fires and 12 static smoke assets. But if you want to take your animations to the next level, LazyVFX also includes 9 animated explosions, 11 looping animated fires, and 7 looping animated smoke assets, adding to that 4 animated smoke assets. By the way, the add-on has customizable shaders, which allows you to generate more varieties in terms of colors, density, and emission strength. It is also important to mention that the add-on and shaders are compatible with versions 3.4, 3.5, and 3.6. And it is also compatible with Cycles, but does not support EV. It is also worth mentioning that the VDB file size for static and animated VDB libraries is 3.8GB and 58.7GB respectively to make sure that you have enough disk space before you download those libraries. Also, the developer mentioned that the product is still under development and the official version is expected to be released before October 31st, 2023. And it is projected to include 80 static explosions, 20 animated explosions, 30 static smoke assets, and 10 animated smoke assets, in addition to many, many other assets. So you know the add-on has a lot of potential of growth. Talking about updates, we should also mention Fluid Painter. At first, you'll be like, what is this generic add-on? But when you see its features and what it offers, you'll be impressed. Like, this is actually lit as hell. Fluid Painter is an amazing add-on that enables you to draw static fluids right onto your models. Now, what kind of fluids you might be asking? Well, basically everything from water, soap, bubbles, mud, chocolate, and everything else in between. The way the add-on works is really simple. Actually using the power of geometry nodes and the grease pencil you can simply draw anywhere you want and your fluid will follow along. And with the latest one point to update, the add-on introduces a new scaling parameter which allows you to paint fluids on any object of any size as well as improved geometry nodes to create smoother fluids and to ensure compatibility and access to new features. On a side note, old fluids created by this add-on, or to be precise, by the old version of this add-on, can be updated to the new version using the update fluid feature. And finally, we have a new feature that allows you to convert any curve into a fluid. And if you are interested in something like this, you will find the links under the like button. Now. There aren't a lot of stuff that 3D artists can agree upon, but one thing in particular that everyone can attest to is that UV unwrapping sucks. Seriously, if you know someone who actually enjoys UV mapping or UV unwrapping, please alert the authorities before it is too late. Now, jokes aside, why does UV unwrapping has to be boring? It actually doesn't. Well, the native Blender unwrapping tools kinda does. But the community for years created a lot of cool tools that could make this much more easier. With add-ons like UV Backmaster, Zen UV, Text Tools, and UV Toolkit, just to name a few. These are all great, and we actually made a lot of videos about them. 
But today, we're gonna talk about UV flow add-on, and this too will hopefully make your time with UV mapping much less painful. The tool will speed up the process tremendously by allowing you to mark seams and UV unwrap in real time with visual feedback in the viewport so you know exactly what you need to cut and how your UV map is gonna look like. This is amazing because I can't count the time I spent making seams, hitting UV maps, hitting unwrap, and finding out the seams are marked the wrong way, in addition to clearing seams and making them again and rinse and repeat. But using the UV flow add-on, you can mark seams by clicking and dragging, and to mark loops, you can double-click on any edge and double-click a face to mark islands. Conversely, holding Alt during any of those actions will clear seams, which is really neat. The add-on also offers seam layers, which is something you can do in Blender, as one object can only have one set of seams. This will allow you to have multiple UV maps for different use cases, like placing decals or applying different textures. In addition to a lot of helpful features like changing the color and style of the seams, and there is also a per material texture density which just looks awesome. This is particularly helpful if you want to texture in other apps such as Substance Painter or Mari. Next up we have Color Frame Renders Pro, which I'm gonna call from now on CFR. It is actually a small tool that allows you to present your models in stunning detail. So if you saw one of those blueprints line art renders, then this add-on will help you just do that and more. We actually talked about CFR before, but since then, a lot of things have been added. Now with version 4, it can be used in both Cycles and EV. Additionally, it has support for line art, which has been added and makes your renders look cool and way better and also you're gonna have much more depth to the final image and you can easily spot the differences between these two renders. And now you can control how many wireframes and how much line art is showing as well as now having animation support. This add-on also basically allows you to showcase your design from all angles by allowing you to create wireframe animation which I think looks fantastic. What I personally like about CFR is the multiple ways you can showcase your work. For instance, you can still overlay your wireframe and line art on top of your textures without losing all the ambient occlusion or having to change any of your materials. Also, Mesh Color Palette Coloring, which allows you to pick a color palette to apply to all different loose parts of your mesh. And palettes can be saved and reused and adjusted all through the add-ons panel. Also, do you know what you can easily adjust? And that is roads using geometry nodes. Geometry nodes are everywhere now, and a lot of Blender enthusiasts manage to use this feature to optimize their workflow through what is known as procedural modeling. And this add-on specifically caught my attention, which is called City Road Maker. And as the name suggests, this add-on will make the process of creating roads fully procedural. But what makes it special is the number of customizable parts it offers. The add-on also comes with three different versions, which are Standard, Pro, and Ultimate. Starting with the Standard version, which offers the creation of wet puddles, in addition to road control, line control, road side control, and of course, lamp pulse control. Now, the Pro version has all the previous features, in addition to the green belt control, boxwood control, and barrier control. And if you want to take advantage of all the features we previously mentioned, in addition to intersection control and roadside collection control, then you should go to the ultimate version. The control aspects depend on the object, where some objects offer more flexibility in controlling the type, size, position, etc. compared to other objects. But generally speaking, this is a really useful add-on that will definitely help you in the process of making huge city roads and streets, whether it is for animation or game development projects. Now, if you want to add realistic caustics, dispersion, and physically accurate thin film interference effect to your scenes, then this add-on will help you a lot. The add-on is called Shader Plus, and it is not new by the way but it has been updated recently, and it came with more cool features and functionalities offering you powerful but affordable stuff. Also, I wanted to mention it because it is really important. 
The best feature of this add-on is that it integrates all of its controls and settings into built-in shaders, and each effect has a set of independent parameters. The caustic effect works in real time within cycles, and it is easy to use because you just have to enable the shader's caustic strength slider, add a light, and you are all set for a beautiful caustic effect that makes your renders look amazing. And through the default shader, you can control the strength, object shadow, prism, and imperfections. The dispersion effect works perfectly for glass, liquid, and lenses, and it mimics physically accurate light biases, making it highly realistic. And the add-on lets you control the dispersion intensity, saturation, internal reflection, and color shift. The thin film effect works similarly to the previous effects, and it is physically accurate thanks to its formula that incorporates over a thousand vector math nodes to cycle through the natural interference range of light seamlessly. And this means that you have precise control over the thinness of the film as well as its index and refraction, and you can control its intensity and glass blend, which is a little bit more complicated than you will need if you are really really not into this stuff. Adding to that, it includes 69 presets that you can use directly from the add-on, which will give you a lot of possibilities. Last but not least, we have the Movie and Skies add-on, which allows you to create animated skies with clouds. The add-on has a library of skies that contains 7 presets which you can easily add to your scene. Each preset is different from the others, and you can further customize each one of them using the settings the add-on offers such as controlling the sun, elevation, air and dust densities, and more. Additionally, it contains various features that let you control the skies. For example, you can animate the clouds in the sky, adding an element of time and motion, and you can also control the lighting by changing the color, contrast, intensity, and more. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.